Hello everyone, I'm Smith the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and in this video of Oblivion Tutorials we're going to talk about if you have an all stealth character which if you watch any of my tutorials you know I hate going all in on one ability so if you have an all stealth character you decided to just mess around what would you do for the enchantments for that kind of character there's a bunch of different ways you can deal with this there's actually four different ways that you can deal with this situation and we're going to get in. So first of all, if you don't talk to people, you don't care about speech and agility, or sorry, speech and merchantile, if you don't really care about talking to people, you're going to have eight enchantment slots, okay? You're going to have three for jewelry and five for your clothing. If you keep your wrist irons, they count as clothing on your wrists. So they kind of, if you don't want to do an armor build, you can avoid that. You're going to have six points into agility and two into speed. Now, what I mean by this is if you enchant an attribute on a piece of equipment with a grand soul gem, it should be somewhere close to 10. Okay? So all these enchantments are going to be for your attributes because your attributes affect your skills massively. Okay? So what you're going to do is you, you basically just have eight enchantment slots for your armor, you say your armor or your clothes. So you're gonna put six of those eight enchantments into agility and two into speed. If you don't wanna use armor, you put seven into agility and a one into speed. If you wanna to talk to people, you actually care about talking to people, you're gonna put two of your enchantments into personalities, four into agility and two into speed. And if you don't care about armor at all, but you still want to talk to people, you're going to put two into personality, five into agility, and one into speed. The reason why speed is such a factor is the only two stealth skills that are affected by speed are acrobatics and light armor. So if you're not wearing armor, the only thing speed affects is acrobatics, which is negligible. Okay, if you had 100 acrobatics, you don't need it to be at, I guess, arguably 100 and like what, whatever the acrobatics is going to pretend to be at, right? And But you're going to need more speed because if you're a stealth main, you're using a lot of archery. Like, that is your only weapon. Now, for your weapon, this is where it gets interesting. You can do whatever you want to your weapon. You just have to know the spells and be able to cast them. So, if I want a, let's just say I want my bow to be a fire bow, okay? I have to be able to basically burn with my magic, which is pretty easy, right? Because you start with a fire spell. It's pretty easy. So not too big of a deal with that. But if you wanted to do something like silence, you're going to have to level up that magic skill. And then you have to be able to cast silence and then you get to put it on your bow. So whatever you feel like, you know, whatever kind of enemies you keep running into, like if you go to the Diedrich Plains, you're not gonna have a fire bow. You're probably gonna have a silence bow with frost. So just think about how you want your character to work. You have multiple bows. Multiple bows is the best way to go. But I'm gonna tell you this. The best enchantments come from pretty much either sigil stones or just finding random equipment on the ground because 10 for an attribute is not a lot. I found strength 15 armor and stuff like that out in the wilderness. So don't, like, you might want to be a clothes only character, but if you find armor with a better enchantment or a piece of clothing with better enchantment, pick that. Now, if you are going with clothes and you don't care about, um, and you actually kind of care about armor, this is where it gets interesting. If you're all stealth, you don't care about magic, then get a protect spell. And I would only say enchant two to three of your pieces of armor with protect. Or at least, I would say, however much it takes to get a, to 100, or at least get 50%. Okay, at least 50% protect. So that might take you three pieces of armor that might take you, I don't know, that could be... Five. Whatever. Try to get to 50%, but I would honestly say 
if you're gonna go with clothing, like, I would almost avoid protect altogether. If you're gonna go, that's right. I call it protect. I know it's called shield, but you know, if you're gonna go with a clothing only character, if you, you could use protect, but remember that the ten every every enchantment right so about 30 percent would be my sweet spot every enchantment is 10 percent protect takes away 10 percent from an from an attribute so that agility that you're going to need because you're going to get take damage and you might fall down and you're screwed because you won't have any health you take away 30 agility for 30 percent protect it turns it it's almost like a bad hybrid so i would honestly say just straight up when you're leveling up your character, just go with 5 plus agility, 5 plus speed, and 5 plus endurance. Pick a high endurance character. That way, you know, you get maximum health. Because if you have a bunch of health and you're an archer, you're just going to run around and dodge everything. You know, your skills, obviously, for this build, if you were a max stealth, would be all the stealth skills. You pick stealth. You know, your attributes would be agility. And speed and your star sign would be the thief that maxes out all your stealth skills but really just if you're gonna pick if you're gonna want to enchant something with protect just replace it with a piece of armor because the important thing to remember is first of all when you're sneaking in this game the only thing that affects your sneak skill is whatever types of shoes you have on or boots so and when, when you, I think when you hit like 50 skill and sneak it doesn't matter and the other thing is like armor affects your magical abilities and if you're stealth main like all seven skills are stealth the only magic that you're going to end up using is maybe restoration and alchemy and alchemy doesn't even isn't even affected by armor in the first place so you're just going to end up using restoration along with whatever spell you want to put on your armor, which let me get into that. If you're gonna enchant your armor with agility and speed and personality, fortify, you have to learn restoration anyways. So the only magical skill that you're gonna be somewhat proficient in is like 25 on restoration, right? Because then you can get the fortify like personality two points. So when you do this build, just remember that Putting protect on armor or on clothes, not very efficient. Just go with armor. Now, if you care about looks, that's a different story. Of course, you know, put protect on it. But remember, you can also only put on one attachment. Forgot to say that. You can only put one enchantment on a piece of equipment. So be aware that you could also build multiple pieces of enchanted equipment and then also have multiple pieces of enchanted weapons. And you only have, like, what is it? I think it's eight hotkey slots. So just be aware that things can get messy, but you can optimize it. So that's what I think about on the max enchantments. And for a stealth main, I'm telling you, all stealth skills, all stealth starting, like, everything stealth. If you enjoyed this video, you can tell me in the comments below. You can subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion tutorials. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it, post of whatever I decide to make.